We come in with another video, something different and just new I'm doing on the channel. And I wanted to come with this video because I want to talk about some NBA news. What's good, movement gang? What's good with y'all? And your boy going to be coming with another video, something different and just new I'm doing on the channel. And I wanted to come with this video because I want to talk about some NBA news, you dick. I want to talk about some NBA news. Hey, news, I got the mic, karaoke mic, yes, karaoke mic, I wanna talk about some news, real talk, talk about this NBA news that we go, it's just NBA news of the trades, you know, they made some good moves, they made some good moves, but they gotta, but these players gotta figure out how things gonna work. You know what I mean? Because some people playing on the team together that you didn't expect to play on the team together, but they is. So they got to figure out how they going to make it work. And so, yeah, that's what I want to get into. NBA news. Dang, NBA news. Yes, sir. But, yeah, first, I want to say, and y'all gotta let me know this in the comments. And I'm doing this, talking through this mic. But yeah. AD is playing with LeBron. Now LeBron is way past his prime. LeBron is, well LeBron only got a three, three more years left in the league. But LeBron still play effective. LeBron still play effective. You know, at his age. To be 34, close to 35, he played really effective. And players like Carmelo, LeBron, LeBron, my favorite player. LeBron, been my favorite player. Yes, and he gonna, you know, and I've been sticking with him being my favorite player. Now, Dwayne Wade been my favorite player. Cause I've been watching him since I was little. Just like I've been watching LeBron since I was little. Since I was in elementary school. And since basically he's been drafted in Dwayne Wade too. But Dwayne Wade retired now. You know, he I guess he made it decision that he wanted to retire. You know, I guess it's he said, man, my time is up, man. I'm just retired. You feel me? He wanna do other things. He wanna do other things, I guess. You know, and he could have played two more years, but you know, it, 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 but I'm watching Dwayne Wade, so that's been my favorite player. And also keep Dwight Howard and like Carmelo, but Dwight Howard slowed down. He not like he was when he was on Magic. He's playing a football. He's putting up 30, 25 points. You know, he's putting up 20 points or 18 points or 17 points. You know, he'll do something like 17 points, 10, 11 rebounds added with that 17 points. And then he'll have like what, two, three blocks? And he don't do that no more. Look, um, do I have to do that? Even though he's been in foul trouble. But what I'm saying is these are my favorite players. But LeBron, my favorite player, especially at Dwayne Wade. I've been watching Carmelo since he got drafted. He got drafted in 2003 like, Car like LeBron. But he still ain't got no ring. Um, and LeBron got his rings. And he's still trying to get one or two more rings, I think. Um, however he can get before his career is finally over. Even if if he do get another ring, you know what I mean. Whatever happened with that, but like, like I said, man, it's crazy to see that AD is on the Lakers playing with LeBron Anthony Davis. That's a good move, but I feel like how he's gonna do. I don't know. You see, you don't really know how a player gonna do that got. I mean, traded to a team or just got sent to a team. Until you watch the season. Until you watch the season, you know, when it starts, you know, and you watch some games of the of your team or that, then you will see that, oh, okay. But, you know, some teams start off, even some good teams start off slow, then they end up picking it up. But I don't know how they're going to start off. They're going to start off dominating and they're going to start off slow. And then they're going to pick it up as the season go on. 
Don't know about that, but I, 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 I can't wait to see. I never watched the Pelicans like that. So, I know some of the things that Anthony Davis did on the Pelicans, but not to my, I don't know fully what, of, of, of what, how much he did on the Pelicans, because I never watched the Pelicans, you know. And I, and, and I didn't care about the Pelicans when they made it to the playoffs. <laughs> so, I, I, I didn't care, you know, to, to be in tune with them. But, I think Anthony Davis got some more stuff to work on. He do. He's a very good player. He's 6'10", 6'11", one of them heights, and he's a very good player. I don't know how much he weighs or nothing like that. I don't know if the weight went down and how much it is or went up more. How I don't. I just don't know what weight is. But I know he got more work to do. He got more work to do and more proven to do because they gave him a lot of hype. When Anthony Davis started – they gave him a lot of hype, like he gonna be this type of player. He gonna be a superstar player, and he is he's supposed to be on that level, right? Because they gave him a lot of hype. He, he's supposed to be on the level, and he's supposed to be a player that dominates. Even though he might, you no, know, no player is perfect. Even if you're a superstar player, you you do things and you mess up in the game. But as a, as a superstar player, you're supposed to get it done, though. At the end of the day, and. And Davis have did some stuff, but I think he got more proving to do. Because I feel like he ain't got no ring. I don't know how I don't know how old Anthony Davis is. I'm, I'm about to see how old I'm about to see how old Anthony Davis is. Yeah, I'm about to love see how old Anthony Davis is. I think he in his prime or I don't know. Oh, Anthony, Anthony Davis in his prime right now. Anthony Davis is in his prime right now. Anthony Davis is 26 years old. He in his prime. So, at this point in his career, this is the time when LeBron, when LeBron played on Miami Heat, when he came to the team when he was 25, I think, and when he played on Miami Heat, he played with Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh. He was going off. He was doing his thing. He was going off. He was he was scoring all these type of you know just going off doing the superstar thing that he do because you know that's LeBron. LeBron played like a superstar in the beginning of his career, but it wasn't like that until years went by, and he hit his prime and he went to Miami Heat. Eventually, yeah, and he went to Miami Heat. People were mad about that. They burning his jersey, doing all kind of stuff, but he but he went off though. And even though Dwayne Wade just can't step back. So no step back, a lot of steps and say, I'm gonna let LeBron take over. Look, Dwayne Wade still did his thing. He still did his thing. He still went in and did his thing. And Chris Bosch, they was like, it's no big two. It ain't no big three. But Chris Bosch did his thing, so it is a big three. Cause LeBron cause don't get me get me right. Don't get me wrong. Cause this is a fact. Chris Bosch did knock down. I remember it was a game in the playoffs or whatever, or a game that Chris Bosch knocked down three. I think it was a game winner or one of them. He hit it. It, it was um, supposed to um, be like to get his team back in the game, basically. But so when he played with them, LeBron did his thing in his prime. That was his prime. That was his takeover time. And he did that. That's why he got two rings back to back championships playing with Miami Heat back to back. One, they beat the Thunder. That's when. Kevin Durant was on the Thunder, playing with Westbrook. And then another one, uh, they beat the Spurs. Yeah, they beat the Spurs. And I think that was in 2012. and 2013, they went back to back. So LeBron did his thing. So that's how I feel like at this point, that's how... Anthony Davis should be playing. Anthony Davis should be going off at this point in his career. This is supposed to be the, mer- the memorable moment of his career. His prime. He's 26 years old. He's 26. This is how he should be going off. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
31, 32. But I feel like it depends if you're still going to have that domi dom domination. You know what I mean? Once you hit your 30s, especially when you hit 33, 34, you're going to have that same domination when you're still playing. Because LeBron still has that domination in him at his age. And LeBron ain't young player no more. He's, he's getting up there. He's 34. You know what I mean? So he's getting up there. So I feel like he still got a domination. And I feel like players like Dwight Howard, Carmelo, they slow down. They very, they, they, yes, they slow down. You know what I mean? But, um, yes, it's crazy, man. And they just playing with LeBron. I, I hope, I hope they connect and they do their thing together. And they still, the Lakers still got Rondo, Kyle Kuzma. I think they don't got Lance Stevenson no more. Like, real talk. They ain't got Lance Stevenson no more. But they still got Rondo. They still got your boy Rondo. And, I don't, hey, that's going to be a good. Because that pick and roll, and Davis, like, doing them pick and rolls. And then with JaVale McGee, he going to be doing pick and rolls. I don't know how that's going to go if Anthony Davis and JaVale McGee in the game at the same time. Because, you know, they still got JaVale McGee, and he was running pick and rolls. But the only thing I like, man, is that LeBron didn't make it to the playoffs. And as a superstar player, I feel like you're supposed to make it to the playoffs every time. Your, whatever team, they're supposed to make it to the playoffs. And... The only thing I like, too, I, I agree, because I don't give LeBron no pass. Even, I never gave any player that I like someone I was a fan of. You know what I mean? Like Dwayne Wade. I never gave none of my favorite players that I really like a pass. I didn't I didn't give Le, I, I, didn't, I don't give LeBron a pass. I didn't give Le, Le, Le Melo a pass, Carmelo a pass. Like, oh, yeah, no, he slowed down. LeBron still got the domination in his game It's being his 30s and to, and, and, and to get closer and closer to retirement. And Carmelo slowed down, just like the way Howard did. And Chris Paul and still and Chris Paul is still playing effective. Better than Carmelo. Better than Dwight Howard. And see Chris Paul six foot. He don't have the six eleven, seven foot like Dwight Howard. He don't have the six eight, six had like Carmelo. You know what I mean? He don't have the athleticism, you feel me? Because he's six foot, but he still got that playmaking ability. He can still do that playmaking ability. In that, in that shot creation, where he can still create a shot, where he can still do some playmaking, where he can still go around the pick and roll, where he can still do, he can still go one on one because he got these handles, you know what I mean, and get it done at six foot. But you know, I, I just feel like LeBron should have made it to the playoffs. You know, the Lakers should have made it to the playoffs. And that's three years they've been losing. Three, three, four, three, four years they've been losing. They've been losing. You know, and I give Lakers organization because they're a championship organization. But I feel like in this time, they, they did go through, uh, in this era of basketball, they started going through a losing thing, three or four years of losing. And I feel like LeBron came there to save because he was the savior. Like, real tough, he's supposed to be the savior. He's supposed to be like when Kobe played there. And, you know, whatever they did, I don't know. How everything went, nothing like that, because you know I'm just a person that, that's just hearing about stuff. I'm not a person that's it 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 in the lot. I'm not a person to be, so you know what I mean. You know we just hear about it, but when you hear about LeBron and oh, when you heard, I mean, basically what I'm saying, we heard about LeBron going to the Lakers. You know if you're a basketball fan, you know you tune in to basketball, you're like, damn, he went to the Lakers. He went to the Lakers, and it was talked about it, you know what I mean? It was talked about it. It was talked about it uh, that I heard early before they even was saying, before they even uh, started back up about LeBron and the, and the Lakers, you know what I mean? I heard it before, like, and LeBron going to the Lakers, man, and, and he on the Lakers, I think, he did moves like this. Like, he already played with, with two good players, Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade. And now he's doing another move. And now, like, his team is stacked. He got DeMarcus Cousins. I can't forget about DeMarcus. DeMarcus Cousins is so-so. I seen what he did when he was healthy a little bit on the Warriors. But I feel like when he played on the Kings, you know what I mean? He do a lot. He get bad. 
He do a lot of shoving. You know, he did a lot of that. We done the Kings and did a lot. Of, so the Rockets' cousins can come through. It's best as being a big, because he's going to be a big man. Because he a big man, 6'11", whatever. And he can't come through. He can, you know, be calm. But at certain, you know, at certain, I, 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 I think at certain times in the, in the game, he, I think he ain't going to be able to get it done. But he can get it done, all right, because he's supposed to be that terrific that 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 terrific player. How you look at LeBron? How you look at you know Kevin Durant? How you look at now? Nah, how you look at Kyrie Irving? That's how Demarcus Cousins is supposed to be looked at because Demarcus Cousins is a really good player. Don't get me wrong. I'm and and and, and I feel like I feel like it was a good thing that I feel like it, it would. I'm saying it's a good thing. Because he's going to be able to Lakers play on LeBron. So the reason I'm saying it's a good thing is because it's going to be interesting seeing how DeMarcus Cousins is going to play on the Lakers with LeBron. Especially seeing how Anthony Davis is going to play with LeBron. You know what I mean? See how they're going to get it done together. They got to figure out a way to get it done. So, yeah. Hey, and then um, now you got Russell Westbrook playing. You got Russell Westbrook playing with James Hart now. Traded for Chris Paul, but I don't think Chris Paul going. Yeah, I don't think Chris Paul going 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 stay with the Thunder. I think he'll get traded, go to a contender team that's gonna make it to the playoffs. You know what I mean? If he go to Miami, he play with Jimmy Butler. It been rumors, it been talked about, but I don't know if he really gonna go to the Miami Heat until it's all said and done, and they final put a final stamp on it and say Chris Paul is on the Miami Heat. You know what I mean? How many years he signed? I don't know, but it'd be dope to see him and what he'll do and how he get it done and how they'll, you know, co-play together um, Chris Paul and James, I mean, Chris Paul and Jimmy Butler. Because Jimmy Butler on Miami Heat, that was another good move, man. And people feel like, oh, Jimmy Butler on Miami Heat. They think it's not a good, some people think it's not a good move. But I, but, but being real talk, I think it's, it's, it's a good move. Him playing with, you know, I, I think if Drogic stay there, if Drogic, if 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 Goran Dragic stay there, and Goran Dragic is a decent player, he's been playing decent since he's been on Miami. He's been, he been playing decent. I seen him knock down some shots and do do his thing, man. Dragic, he's a he's a he's a decent player though. Facts. And if he stay there, I want to see how Jimmy Butler plays with Dragic because I, you know Dwayne Wade gone, so I guess they said. The Miami Heat can't fall apart because the Wayne Wade gone and the team is gonna be like this. It gotta be some player that can lead us. So they, so I guess they got Jimmy Butler. You know what I mean? So let's see how he play, man. Other moves like Kyrie Irving and um, Kevin Rant, man. I don't know who else they got. Like I don't know who else Miami Heat got. Not, I, I don't know if they just got Jimmy Butler and I don't know who else they got or who they, who they got rid of. I gotta look into it. Um, I gotta look into it, you know, and, and more stuff. And, you know, I gotta hear about more news, NBA news. I'm talking about what, what I heard so far, so I gotta, I gotta be up on more of the NBA news. So once it's once more NBA news is talked about, I mean, not talk, well, more NBA news is out there. I'm just talking about what what what, what happened so far and what I and, and what I know. You know, and um, it, it, you know, it, I don't know, but like I don't know who else Rockets got, who they got rid of. I know they got Russell Westbrook. That's it, and and they traded for Chris Paul. But um, like I said, Chris Paul's not gonna stand the Thunder. And I guess they got, cause you know Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, yeah. Let me know how I think about that. Let me think how y'all think about these trades. Kawhi Leonard and Jack. I mean, Paul George is playing together. I don't know how much money they gave Kawhi Leonard, but um, I know they signed three years. I don't even know how much money that real talk. I don't even know how much money Paul George got or how many years he signed. But I know that they playing together. That's going to be a to do it. But I think Paul George got to play harder. I think sometimes Paul George can play soft. He can play soft. He don't play like demanding like I want him. Sometimes you gotta play like you want. If you want a ring, if you want a ring, you gotta play like you want it. You gotta fight for it. I mean, every possession, 
you fighting on the floor and you doing with the necessary you doing the nec- doing the things that's I'm not gonna say necessary, but you're doing the things that's gonna get you that championship. That's how Warriors won. They did the things to get them a championship. That's how Toronto won the championship. Because they did the things to shut Warriors down and get the ring. And get the championship to get that ring, basically. So, yeah. But, man, it's going to be crazy, man. Crazy season, man. Can't wait till we get started. Because it's going to be so interesting to see Carmelo. I mean, I said Carmelo. It's going to be so interesting to see Anthony Davis, the Marcus Cousins playing together. Playing with LeBron. Um, They got... They still got Rondo. They still got JaVale McGee. They still got um, Kyle Kuzma, but they got rid of for Anthony Davis. They got they had to give up Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and Josh Hart to get and some other, I think some other um, draft pick they got rid of too to get Anthony Davis. And they going to be playing with Zion Williamson. Woo! Zion Williamson? He really 6'7"? 270? That's a big boy. That's football. It's like he should have played football. Football. He should have been trucking something. <laughs> he should have been trucking something in football. But hey, I've been watching Zion Williamson in college too. That's what I want to talk about too. Get into him. You know, I've been watching Zion Williamson. I watched every single Duke game. I watched um not the Zion Williamson. I also watched um um. Uh, and RJ Barrett. And I also watched um Cam Reddish. You know, they were all play on the same team. I think what's his name stayed in college. Um I forgot his name. It's um It's Tyus um Jones brother. I forgot Ty I forgot Tyus Jones brother first name. He played on Duke with them and I guess he stayed another year in college as I heard. But it's going to be crazy to see, man. It's going to be crazy to see how the season kick off, man. How the season goes as it goes on. Um, I can't wait to see how Zion Williamson going to do. Because he got a lot of recognition. Zion Williamson, man. They they reckon, they they was on him like when LeBron first. When LeBron got drafted and LeBron, man, they was on him. They got the spot. They talked about him so much. And they still talking about Zion Williamson. So he got a big spotlight on him. So he got to produce. You know, his rookie year should be, you know, okay. He should show some superstar stuff, some nice stuff, a lot of things. But as his career go on, his second year, his third year, that's the way he gets in his third year, fourth year. He should be really making an impact in the NBA because he's been talked about in this beginning stage. So it should be like that. But I've been watching Andre Barry, you know, like I said, Cam Reddish. I haven't seen Cam Reddish. I didn't watch no Cam. I didn't watch Cam Reddish in the summer league, so I don't know how he did in the summer league. But I watched Aj Bear, and the game I watched Aj Bear in the finals, man. I mean, in the summer league, man. I think it was the second or third game when he went off. He was throwing. He was he was passing the ball, getting assists. He was scoring and stuff. And I didn't see no other game. I only seen like I think I seen one game or two games of some highlights. Also, uh, Zion Williamson in the Summer League. And that's it. That's all I've seen. I didn't see nothing from Zion Williamson. So, it's interesting to see how Zion Williamson going to do on the Pelicans. See how RJ Barrett going to do on the New York Knicks. And I forgot what team did Cam Reddish go to. I don't even, I forgot what team he got drafted to. But I, I think Cam Reddish was the number four pick in the draft. Number four. Because it was Zion Williamson. Because Zion Williamson was number one. And then, um, yeah, he went number one. He went number one. And then R.J. Bear was number third. And John Morant was number two. So it's interesting to go see how John Morant going to do, too. Because they, they talked about him a good grip, too. They talked about R.J. Bear, but I think, yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be good. But, but, you know, the main spotlight is, the, the spotlight was mostly on Zion Williamson talked about him mostly, but even they talk about other players, they still talk about him the most. They look at him like he's supposed to come. He's supposed to be like the next Jordan. He's supposed to be the next Jordan, you know. And Zion Williamson can dunk his, but I feel like he need to work on his three points more. So 
you need to work on that more. You, you need to work on that more so it can be more consistent. Even though you're going to still miss trees, it can still be, be more consistent. Um, so, you know, Shaidu and AJ Beard, like I said, and see how um, John Williams are going to play with Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram and Josh Hart. I'm not going to watch them a lot, but when I do watch, I tune into my team mostly, even though I'm going to see other teams. You know, I'm still going to watch see how LeBron going to do with – I like James Hart. James Hart became one of my favorite players, you know. So to see how Wesley Westbrook going to play with James Hart, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad that Wesley Westbrook playing with James Hart now. But they got to learn how they going to fit together, how they going to just work together, how they, how things going to go, how they going to play. You know what I mean? But when they in the game together, though, they got to realize one of them got to give up the ball and let one of us it take turns of doing y'all thing, basically. What I'm, what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, man, it's, it's going to go down, man. This season, man, it's going to be, man, seeing how Kevin Durant, I can't wait to see Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving play. Man, see the Brooklyn Nets, see how they going to play together. It's going to be a crazy season, man. But I want to see how these teams going to go. Ooh, man. But they, but, but, but it's going to be crazy. Because Kevin Durant is on the East now. Kevin Durant is not in the West no more. He playing on Brooklyn Nets, New York team, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, my guy. And Brooklyn, I, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. Like bomb man, like from New York, man. Like like from New York. <laughs> but yeah, now he now he playing on Brooklyn Nets. It, it's gonna be crazy to see how they play together, man. It's it's, it's gonna be an interesting season though. I don't know if Carmelo going still be in the NBA, being on the team. I don't, if you do, I don't know what team he's going to be on. They said the last hope for him is being on the Lakers. I don't know about that. Is he going to be on the Lakers or not? I don't know. Man, it's, it's crazy. I don't know who who else next got besides Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. I don't know who else they got, who they got rid of. Um, I got to look, look more up on that. Um, I don't know um, how many points. How many? How much? How, how many years? I'm I'm looking it up. How many years they signed Kevin Durant on the Nets? Looking it up, y'all. Hold up. Kevin Durant signed four years with the Brooklyn Nets. He signed four years with the Brooklyn Nets. I don't know how much money, but I know it says, it said Kyrie Irving, he signed with the um Nets four years too. Damn. But they gave him $141 million. I think that's how much they gave, um, I think they gave, because, um, what's the name that played for the 76ers? Um, Ben Simmons, they gave him a lot of money to stay on. I guess they want him to stay on, somebody get into that too, they want him to stay on 76 Like, no, we're going to keep you, we're going to keep you. He's supposed to be on that, he's supposed to be on that superstar level, I guess. That's how Ben Simmons is supposed to be, that's how he looked at I guess they, I guess, um, 76ers um, gave um, an offer for, I don't know how many years Ben Simmons got, but I know like Ben Simmons, they gave him a lot of money, like 114 million or 140 something million, something like that. I don't know how many years they they um, gave, they offer um, Ben Simmons to basically stay on the 76ers. Hey, and what's his name left Boston? Al Horford. Al Horford's on the 76ers. Let me know how y'all think about that. Al Horford's on the 76ers now. And they still got Joel B. I don't know who else they got. Who else they gonna get or, or who else they got rid of up on the team. Cause I know that Jimmy Butler's not playing it no more. Jimmy Butler. And um and what's his name? Boston got Kimball Walker. That's the thing. Think about that too. They got Kimba Walker, but 
It's crazy to see that man. Dang, Kyrie Irving got four years. He signed with the Brooklyn Nets, a hundred and forty-one million. But Kyrie Irving, he hey, he had proved that he's worth that much. You can, he's a valuable player. He's a viable player. Just how Kawhi Leonard is a viable player. That's how Kyrie Irving, he's a very talented player. He's very a viable player to be worth that much money. I don't know how much money if he, if they gave if they gave Kyrie Irving 144 million, I wanna know how much they gave Kevin Durant. It's crazy, man. Can't run on the Warriors no more. But the Warriors still got Clay Thompson. They still got your boy, you know, the three point players, you know, they're playing together. I don't know if I I think Clay Thompson's still gonna be playing with uh, Stephen Curry. And they got rid of Quinn Cook, I know. And I think um Andre Iguodala's on the Grizzlies, but they're trying to bow it. Like 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 how they say they're gonna do Chris Paul, they're gonna buy out his his contract gonna be bought out on the Thunder, he's gonna go somewhere else that's a contended team that can get to the team that can get to the playoffs. Just like Andre Iguodala is playing on the Grizzlies. I mean on the Grizzlies now. So he's gonna play on the Grizzlies. But I don't know if he's gonna start playing on the Grizzlies. I think he he just signed there, but he's gonna get bought out his contract. Cause the Lakers trying to get him. The Lakers been in talk to get Andre Iguodala. It's not the first time they've been talking about getting Andre Iguodala. The Lakers want him. The Lakers want to. That's why the Lakers got got um, free ro- roster spots. Because they want to get that boy Andre Iguodala. It'd be fine if he go. It'd be fine if he went to the Rockets. Ooh. That'd be a fine situation. He's playing with Westbrook and James Harden. Ooh. That'd be a fine situation. Or if we wanted to go play with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, that'd be fine. But if we went to the Lakers, that'd still be good. But, you know, because, what? I ain't going to lie. When LeBron was on Cleveland, they were playing against Golden State. Hey. LeBron did get deed up by um, Andre Iguodala. LeBron still got nothing because, you know, he won, when he was playing with Kyrie Irving on Cleveland, they got it done. They won their championship against Golden State in 2016. They did their thing, but when they came back from a three and one. They were down. It was three to one, and they came back. You know, but it was a moment that Andre Dollar did D up LeBron very good. So him playing together, he won't have to worry about that no more. <laughs> but it's great. It's crazy to see, man, how this. How the season gonna be, man? What with, with the rookies, with the with the people that have been in the league, or people that have been in the league longer? How they how they trading folks, sending folk, sending. I mean, I said folks sending players to this team or this team trading, giving players this much money to stay on the team, or a new player that comes to the team give them this much money. But only only players that's on the superstar level, you know, they deserve a lot of money. Like players like Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant. Um, uh, players like James Harden, how he deserves a lot of money, man. Like, but um, there's some players that still got something to prove. They still got, they still got to prove something, man. Like the Marcus Cousins, for real. But the Marcus Cousins been a good player, but I feel like he 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 need to show more, like more and more, like really, um, as far as Anthony Davis. But yeah, and um. And Lakers, you got um Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley's a nice. He can shoot the threes. Now he could he could do something. He can get to the that he he got game. But what I see from his game, his game is good. You know he a decent player. Uh, Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley. I see we did on Boston. Um uh, yeah, he's a very good player, man. Um and you know, can't wait to see man how this season be, man. You know all these trades, all of this happening. It's not too 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 much because it's still news that needs to be heard or that stuff we need to just you know hear hear about because there's more news to put out because more stuff gonna be happening. This ain't this ain't just it. What's been happening in the off season? Just not just it. It's gonna be stuff happening during the season and everything. So um, 
Let me know what y'all think in the comments and stuff. And like this video up, man. It's something new and different. Um, I just wanted to talk about the NBA news, man. And stuff that's been happening a lot, man. Zion Williamson going to be... I know Zion Williamson going to go off his first year. He going to show some things. But really, when he put more years into the NBA, he going to be really doing his thing. You know, you just got to see. I just got to... You know, you just got to see. And just... I really want to see, like, what he's going to do, like, through the years, you know, of his NBA career. And, you know, and, you know, players like Darren Lewinsky, now, you know, he retired. Dwayne Wade said, and, you know, now it's these new, new, these new upcoming players and players that have been in the league, but they still young. You know what I mean? It, it, you know, it's it, it day time to take over. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's, it's they time to take over, man. It's a new era now, new era of players now. You know, and you you got some new era players that's talented. Like now, Williamson gonna be coming, man. He's really talented. RJ Barrett is talented, man. You know, um, y'all Moran supposed to look at it as talented. There's other good players that supposed to be talented, but now Williamson looks at the most more than any other player in the draft. Even though other players get a lot of look, like RJ Barrett, John Moran, other players. But like I said, Zion Williamson get the most look. And Zion Williamson, a really good player. Zion Williamson is a really good player. So I'm I'm, 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 I'm interested to see what this season is going to be like. So I'm very interested to see what the season is going to be like, man. And I, I'm, I'm going to find out two more. And it's Kevin Rant in his 30s. I think Kyrie Irving, 28. And, you know... Anthony Davis, 26, he in his prime. So this time for for Anthony Davis to go, like, really off. He did something in his career that's scripted, but he need to go off. This is prime. Uh, I don't know how old Kawhi Leonard is. I don't know how old he, um, um, Paul George is. Uh, yeah, your boy Paul George and, Ka hey, and Kawhi Leonard playing together. Hey, that's going to be crazy. I want to see how they going to get it done together. Let me know what y'all just think about these players that's playing together. Um, I, I can't wait to see how Paul George. Uh, Paul George need to play more aggressive, but I feel like with Kyle, Kawhi Leonard playing with Paul George and they on the Clippers together, he gonna he gonna teach Paul George to play more aggressive because uh, Paul George supposed to be the superstar player too, uh, this very talented superstar player. And Kawhi Leonard just came off a championship with Toronto. He 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 led Toronto to a championship. Come on, come on, come on. Led them to a championship, and that and, but there but there, um, the playoffs. He was healthy. During the playoffs, he came back. You no, know, he came back. You know, he was he he was healthy, and he led them to a championship. You no, know, he wasn't hurt. He wasn't out. He was healthy and playing. So. That's good, man. Some things he did in the playoffs that was terrific. But seeing LeBron not make it to the playoffs, it was like, damn. He's supposed to be a superstar player, too. And he didn't make it to the playoffs. His team supposed to make it. you never supposed to miss the playoffs. Come on. you LeBron. You know? But it's crazy, man. And then what it is, he make it to the playoffs. But I'm like, I didn't give no player. I didn't give him no pass, even though he's my favorite player. I don't give none of my players that I like the most, my favorite players, like, I said, I don't give them no pass. They do wrong. I say, like, yeah, this bad look. And I say, and I give them props for what they do good. So, man, I want people to think like, oh, you always give your favorite player props. You always give LeBron props. You always give LeBron even when he do wrong. No, I don't give no player. I don't give LeBron a pass. I didn't give Dwayne Wade a pass. None of that. When they messed up, they messed up. I didn't make no excuses for that or Sugar Coleman. No. None of that, man. Some, some people do that because, you know, they like to play that very much, but I don't do that because I like that play that that, that much. But, yeah, man, just let me know, man, what y'all think about this. Uh, man, it's going to be more what we're looking into, you know what I mean, see who went to this team. And I might come talking more about NBA news, who, who went to this team or who else left this team, you know. It's going to be interesting to see 76ers. You know what I mean? I don't know who else on the team. You know, who else is stacked, you know, on these teams. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be more players that's going to be coming to this team or this team or more 
or, or it's gonna be some players leaving. You know what I mean? This was just this is some of the moves that I know, and some of the things that, that happened during the off season. Cause during this off season, cause I think it's still the off season. Yeah, this off season, cause the season don't start out to like like October, I think. Yeah. So yeah, real talk, man. So man, it's gonna be interesting though, man. Let's see what Al Horford gonna do with the seventy six years. Let's see what Kemba Walker gonna do with the Boston Celtics. Or oh, see what he gonna do. Whoever he gonna play with. If if Gordon Hayward still on the Boston Celtics, you know they still got Jason Tatum, you know they still got Jalen Brown, and you know I can go on and on. They, you know they still got uh them, and you know Jason Tatum a really good player, and Jalen Brown. You know, look, um, I think I think Jason Tatum had a better rookie year than his second year in the NBA. Yeah, so it's gonna be terrific to see how these teams just gonna be in it. It just, uh, it's gonna see how this, like how the season gonna go. See how these teams gonna play. You know, it just, but I think the West is more packed. Even though the East is getting packed, you know they starting to get packed more. But I think the West is gonna be packer. You know, what I mean they get the West team is more packed. But man, it's gonna be interesting, man. So like I said, let me know in the comments. You know, stuff gonna be in the description. Uh. And more NBA news I'm going to be uh, finding, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be knowing about. Because more NBA news to be heard and to just be talked about. So, I don't know too, too much, but I know what I what I, what I, what I talked about in this video. Uh, man, you know, let me know. Uh, do y'all want me to do this again, talking through this mic or whatever, man. Um, I, I've been I've been thinking about doing it, um, talking about sports and stuff, doing a podcast, a podcast. But um, yeah, I just want to I'm gonna talk about the news and just talk about a lot of, you know, just I said a lot, like it's a whole, whole but just talk about the news and and just really just um uh, because I've been hearing about. This, this, and the all season, like, oh, Kevin Durant playing with Kyrie Irving. Oh, Russell Westbrook now playing with um James Hart and trade for Chris Paul. Now, Chris Paul going to be on the Thunder, but they go, but he's not going, I don't think he's going to stay on Thunder. I think they're going to buy his contract out and put him on a on, on a contending team that's going to make it to the playoffs. And I hope they do that, though. I hope he don't stay on Thunder. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, uh, Anthony Davis is finally playing with LeBron, the Marcus Cousins. And now they got Quinn Cook. And now I'm here. They're trying to get under Udala finally. You know, the final talk. But I don't know about that. I don't know if they're going to buy him. Really buy his contract out. Or the Grizzlies. And he's going to go somewhere else. Or he's going to go exactly to the Lakers. I don't know. But there been lots of talks about that. For a while, man. For a while, while. So, man, I can't wait to see, man, what's going to go down more. And how things going to, um, you know, Go, but man, it's gonna be big things happening, man, for the Lakers. Um, I hope, I hope big things happen for the Lakers. They make it to the playoffs, man, because they got a squad, they got a total squad. But I feel like LeBron been playing on super, been playing, he been having a stacked team since he's been winning championships, though. Like when he won, he was playing with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, he played with Jared Smith, and he had a, he had a pretty good team, like, and playing against a really good. Terrific player, Kyrie Irving, and they be in the backcourt, and Kevin Love supposed to be a part of that, and they getting it done. They win that championship in 2016, and then he played with Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wayne in Miami, and then now he playing with DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, and they still got Rondo and Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. And then, you know, it's crazy, man. They got rid of Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart. And your boy Lonzo Ball and his dad talked a lot about. See, I'm gonna get into this. It's crazy. His dad talked a lot about him, Lonzo Ball, right? And now look at he did some things on the Lakers that were good, but he didn't do enough. He didn't do enough. Talking about he gonna be this kind of player. He gonna be this. All these things he said about him. But now, look, at least he's still in the NBA, though. He, he, but his dad is talking about, oh, the Lakers not going to win. The Lakers never going to win. They never going to start winning again. 
ain't never gonna start winning again. But look, you can't hate, you can't be mad. And my thing is, you can't be mad, you can't hate. You can't be just, you, you, you just gotta deal with it. That's the NBA, this is the NBA. They make moves like this all of it's, them. It's the NBA, how it goes, you know what I mean? Nothing you can do about it. And then, you better be lucky your Lonzo Ball is still even playing in the NBA. So yeah, man, let me know how y'all think about this. I'm out of, man, I don't want to talk about the NBA news, man, the ring a lot, man. So it's crazy to hear, man, you know, and I'm going to watch more of ESPN and look good on highlights and this NBA news from ESPN from first take to, to listen to uh, Stephen A. Smith. You know, I don't, I don't really, you know, and, uh, you know, Skip Bayless, he be talking, whatever he say, whatever. Uh, 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 I mean, sports channel he on. Um, uh, you got Shannon, that's on the same sports channel is uh, that be talking at the table with Skip Bayless, and them, whoever else, and then you got um, uh, I think Sam, I think his name is Sam, that be at the table with uh, that be talking to, um, Stephen A. Smith and stuff, and they be just talking about basketball. They they do their commentate thing. And you know, you know, Shaq do commentating, Charles Barkley, all of them do commentating. So it's interesting to hear more on this NBA, this NBA league. And you know, what's more to come about NBA news. So I'm going to look more into it, man. And make sure y'all like something, let me know. I just want to talk about some of this, man. Yeah. I'm about to let me know. I had to come another video about, about this so far, what's been happening. But. It's more for me to talk about, so I might come more to talk about. But like I said, I was thinking about doing a podcast, and I might still do the podcast. What? I might still do a what? Podcast. I don't know about that. Um, Still, but I was thinking about it, because, you know, I want to talk about basketball, and just basketball, and sometimes music, but just more basketball. It, it's, it's just more sports stuff, though. Um, I talk about football, but I don't know. I know a lot more about basketball. And you know, and stuff like that. So this is gonna cooperate on this channel. That's gonna be very soon. I'm just, I'm just working and working, man, to get where I need to be. And yeah, man, a lot of NBA, a lot of more NBA news gonna be heard, man. I'm gonna find stuff out. I'm gonna hear about stuff that's gonna be really fact. It's gonna be a lot of more rumors, a lot of more stuff. So I'm gonna tune in. You know, and I'm going to listen. I'm going to really listen and tune in. So, yeah, I'm going to really listen and tune in and pay attention and be up on that. I really love basketball. I love playing basketball. I love, you know, that's going to be on my channel, me playing basketball, against other, doing basketball things. So, make sure y'all tune in there when that happens. And then a lot of other stuff going to be on this channel. And my, uh, my second channel, I already told y'all what that's about. And it's going to be more on that channel. So, make sure y'all show love. Yeah, man, man, I'm bringing this, man. Y'all got to let me know if y'all want me to bring this again, talking with this mic, until I really get and I'm able to do a podcast. If I really just put it to a final decision, I'm going to do a podcast. And I really get the equipment, you know. And you want me to come back with the mic for now? Um, Let me know. And let me know what you want to, what, 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 what you want me to talk about, you know. That been happening in the NBA, in, in NBA basketball, you know, the NBA. And even when the season start, let me know. But yeah, man, it's gonna be a lot more happening, a lot more to talk about. And man, it's crazy, man. But I think really, look, it's it's gonna be an interesting season, man. It's gonna be an interesting season, man. So I might bring more to talk about. Yeah, what about this? Yeah.